Hey, 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 Scorpio. What's good? How are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for the month of June 2024 for my Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look. We're going to see what messages are coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. You know how I do write messages for you, Scorpio. It can also be your person. Feel free to switch the roles. If it makes sense, don't force it to fit. If it's not your reading, it's not your reading. Um, check me out, website, Etsy, if you want to book a reading with me anytime. I do offer them video recorded just like this one or by Etsy message. Quick turnaround, two to four days, okay? Let's jump right in. Today, I'm going to start off with the duh. Billy existing oracle deck you guys have seen this deck before i do design create and sell my decks on etsy so check me out i do have some sales going on if you're interested okay scorpio let's see what is happening with my scorpios out there love messages for my scorpios highest and greatest good what do they need to know whomever they are dealing with whoever they're energetically connected to physically connected to perhaps maybe someone that they're thinking about we have one card, childishness and mind games. All right. Is someone playing some video games, right? If not, this is someone that's just very childlike, um, very immature, right? Not doing the right thing, not stepping up. I'm getting like playing games with your head, okay? Mind games, right? Mentally leaving you conflicted. You don't really know what their intentions are. Okay, they could be playing multiple people. We also have sorrow and remorse. So this could be someone in that five of cups energy. I'm sorry for what I did. I hurt you. What I did was wrong. I almost feel like this person doesn't even want to lock eyes with you right now because of their wrongdoings. Okay, so there's something that they're thinking about and they're recognizing Scorpio that, wow, I was wrong. I was wrong for my childishness. I was wrong for playing games with you. Um foolishness right whatever this is someone is remorseful someone is disappointed and ashamed in themselves okay so i'm seeing the energy very strongly here someone's in your emotions right and i don't think it's you scorpio so let's jump right in and i don't think this person is sharing it with you i almost get a sense that they're not really like trying to connect with you energetically they don't want you to know how they feel right now but let's see uh, what could be happening here. In the recent past, Scorpio, we do have the seven of coins in reverse. So someone poorly invested. They knew your work. They knew what you had to offer. They enjoyed their time with you. There's effort that may have been put in on your part. But I get a sense that they didn't put the same effort in. The Empress in reverse. Yeah. So the Empress is very a value, right? She's a value. The Empress is loving, nurturing, caring. But I get a sense that someone poorly invested because what page of pentacles came out? Page of coins, right? Same energy. And it tells me that someone gave very little. How do you give a page of pentacles to an empress? You can't, right? Because that's just like not cool. There's the energy of someone not being able to match your energy, not being able to reciprocate, not being able to give back how the empress gave, right? So this is someone that gave you crumbs is kind of what it looks like. Right. And you took it because you you may have wanted this person's uh, time, energy. Maybe you thought that it would be more. You may have thought that it would grow. But I get a sense that it did not. And so the Empress in the verse is telling me that, Scorpio, you may have felt like you were left empty handed. You could have felt abandoned by this person. You could have felt like their love just wasn't enough for you. Now, the current energy is a five of swords. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy, and then we have the Seven of Cups. So right now, there is some kind of conflict. I get a sense that there also could be some kind of lie that was told or even a misunderstanding with the Five of Swords that is creating some kind of mental conflict, some kind of confusion with the Seven of Cups. Someone here could have lied to you regarding the many options in love with the Seven of Cups. Maybe there were other people. And so I definitely get a sense that there's a break, right? The Hermit. But when I see the Hermit... Yeah, this is like some kind of like silence or ghosting between you, both of you, but it's not a bad thing, right? It's giving you the opportunity, Scorpio, to really think about something on a deep level, right? Because this, the hermit is a spiritual energy, so it's a spiritual uh, time for you. Maybe you're really connecting with yourself, connecting with the divine. You're getting messages. You're coming into awareness about something that you did not know. So I like it, Scorpio. So even though you're in conflict, you may not be in conflict very long because the hermit is giving you insight. It's giving you awareness. 
you're you're recognizing something that maybe you didn't recognize before especially if you're in this place of great confusion because of your person right so i definitely get a sense that you may be working through some kind of very like a chaotic situation some kind of big misunderstanding um could be with a virgo give me the energy of uh whoever this is that scorpio is connecting with all right, six of swords. So someone is recognizing there's conflict and I need to make things right, right? They're literally looking at the swords in the ground and saying, you know what? We need to make peace. We need to overcome this. We need to let it go, move away from this energy. Um, how do I do that? Queen of Cups came out. So that's you, Scorpio. You're on your mind. And we have that King of Cups. I like it. Let's get two more cards. Knight of Cups in reverse crossed by the Three of Swords. So I definitely get a sense that someone here really, really cares for you. But I get a sense also this person has not been able to adequately show their love. Um, it's pointing me to the divine masculine because the king of cups came out in a verse where I feel like this person could have been very manipulative emotionally. They could have like wanted your love but didn't really know how to express their love back. So it came across as like unreciprocated. It came across as manipulative, right? So I get a sense that, yeah, you know, Scorpio, you cared, you loved. That's what you do, right? And I feel like this person is working out um how how they can better love right if they loved you but they didn't love enough or love hard enough six of swords is like how can i make this right how can i make peace with scorpio now what is interesting to me is that someone recognizes that yeah i hurt you there's heartbreak there's grief there's loss for the three of swords and there's also healing because it's coming out in reverse so someone is wanting to heal the connection scorpio they recognize that i hurt you and you know what i need to do better because scorpio you don't deserve that I also see the Knight of Cups. So before this person can actually um, make a love offer coming in and pursue you with a new cup, because Knights are pursued, Cups is love, right? This person is recognizing I need to come in and pursue you in love, Scorpio, but I also recognize that I need to undo the damage. I need to allow you to heal. I need to perhaps um, make something right, right? So there's energy of moving away from rough um, wavy waters and going into cool calm serene waters with the six of swords and then we have healing taking place healing of heartbreak hurt and anything that they may have caused in the process okay so let's see what the outcome is queen of pentacles in the verse we have the hierophant and we have the ten of swords so i get a sense that you know let me get one more card for the hierophant i get a sense there's a connection outside of the connection that you have with them the strength in a verse okay so someone here is recognizing that I need to heal as well, right? Because Scorpio, this is someone that's gone through their own fair share of hurt and pain, disaster. It could be with regard to a queen of pentacles. Maybe someone from their past. Maybe this is an ex-lover, past lover. Someone they have shared assets, mutual resources with, a child with perhaps. It's coming out in reverse. I don't think this person's with that person anymore. But I get a sense that that person has really shaped their understanding um, of what love is, commitment, and also marriage. This is someone that could be rethinking what marriage and commitment is, okay? But mind you, the strength card is here. So it's difficult for this person. And it makes me feel like your person may have been very shut off from uh, commitment or committing deeply, committing wholeheartedly, wholesomely, right? Because of this Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? So this could be a feminine energy. It could be a mother. It could be a uh, ex-wife could be an ex-girlfriend there's something um a feminine energy perhaps um with the hair font could be a taurus and the strength card could be a leo there's something that your person is having to overcome and i feel like once they overcome that courage might willpower emotional strength they'll be willing to commit in a different way okay so i like it ten of swords is definitely telling me there is hurt here there's damage there's betrayal there's something that your person has gone through and maybe that's why they put you through that Right? That's why they gave you less because they weren't willing to give fully because of what they've gone through. So I feel the hermit is an opportunity to really connect with, you know, self understanding why something is the way it is, why this person may have lied. They can be thinking about this too on a deep, deep spiritual level and getting insight as to how they can correct and fix it. I like it. All right. Childishness and mind games, sorrow and remorse. Let's get a card here. Scorpio, if you enjoy these readings, like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, we have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. Someone here could have been playing games with other, other people, right? Because the Queen of Wands typically is very spicy energy, very attractive. Um, it makes you feel like your person was fooling around with that mind games, maybe playing, um, you know, I'm getting like a juggling energy. Uh, 
treating you like a ping pong, right? You know, it feels to me like your person was so focused on, you know, getting their own needs met, being a little bit selfish. Queen of Wands could have been a person that they were connecting with. Um, but I also feel like they didn't see your power. They didn't see how how great and awesome you are, right? And so I feel like for that reason, they're very sorrowful and remorseful with that energy. Now, in the recent past, the Empress in reverse was not treated properly. The Empress, whoever this is, divine feminine, um, mother, wife, was not treated the correct way. Eight of swords, someone is very much in their head. Two of cups came out in reverse and the three of wands. You know what's interesting? I definitely get a sense of Scorpio. You may have decided to move on or move in a different direction. And it's because of this person's unwillingness to give you more. Now, what's interesting is that your person does not want to let you go. Because the two cups in the verse, three of wands in the verse, they see you moving on. They see you changing. They see you moving to a new city and moving uh, away from them, energetically moving away in some regard, right? Some way or form. And it's it's making them rethink things. Eight of swords are in their head. They're thinking, oh my gosh, what did I do? I poorly invested seven of pentacles in the verse. And they recognize they got to do more. So that's when things change, where perhaps Scorpio, you take your energy back. You recognize that there's nothing here for me anymore because this person's giving less than, and then you leave. And by leaving, you're making your person think differently. Eight of swords. You're making them change. Eights are change in tarot. Eight of swords is here. So I like it. The hermit, a lot of deep, deep, deep spiritual thinking about their options and love with the seven of cups here. Knight of wands comes in. Leo Sag Aries, the king of swords, honesty, truthful energy, and the three of swords. Someone is willing to take action. Action with the knight of wands. Action, movement, motivation. Someone is motivated. And they're motivated to be honest and truthful. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the King of Swords, honest and truthful about something that they did that hurt you. Maybe honest and truthful about a third party, honest and truthful about a betrayal of some sort. Whatever the breakup was, right? Someone is now saying, you know what? I'm the reason for it. Here's the honest truth. This is what happened. Um, Five of Swords, I brought conflict. I lied. Seven of Cups, I had options. I had other people I was thinking about and dealing with, and I caused the confusion and heartbreak with the Three of Swords. So once this person comes in with honest and truth, I do feel like this is something that you and your person can move forward from, okay? There's movement, there's change. Give me the Six of Swords. They want to resolve things, right? There's been some distance. There's been a break, okay? Four of Swords is like maybe you and this person have been quiet. You haven't been speaking in a very long time. And the Four of Swords is like, I want to make peace with this, right? Six of Swords, I want to make peace. I want to move away from this. I want to um, go into calmer waters, right? So there's the energy of your person wanting to make things right. But also being in, in fear of how they can actually go about doing that, right? Queen of Cups' is energy is there, very loving, very sweet. The lovers, Gemini energy, your person wants to make a decision. And it's regarding you and them. And it makes me feel like your person wants to come back together with you, with the lovers. But they recognize it's your decision, Scorpio, because you are the Queen of Cups here. It's your decision to make, okay? Now, with the King of Cups in reverse, tell me more. The justice, yeah, they want to make things right. This is someone that's saying, I want to make things right regarding how I feel for you, regarding my feelings, emotions. I didn't give enough. I didn't love you hard enough, right? I didn't love you full enough. Um, I gave you less than. I didn't show you the right kind of love because I was healing from some kind of love situation. So I get a sense that this is someone that's like, I want to balance the scales out. I want to right my wrongs. How can I do it? How can I turn the tables and allow you to experience a love that I really want to give you? Now with the Knight of Cups and the Three of Swords, definitely healing, heartbreak, grief, loss here. And then a beautiful Ace of Pentacles, new beginning, opportunity. Ace of Pentacles is very, very solid. It's thinking long term. It is long term. It's durable, right? It's long lasting. So I really like this energy because it tells me that someone is is like wanting to heal in order for them to love um, the right way, right? Three of Swords and the Knight of Cups. But then once they're able to, they can present something solid, something long lasting, right? A commitment. Ace of Pentacles is that commitment. So I'm not surprised that the her font came out in the outcome, Scorpio, because someone is going to be in a better position to actually give you a full blown commitment. Once they deal with their own insecurities, their past, eight of pentacles, eights are change, pentacles is stability. There's something about putting in effort, time, energy to make things work, to build something back up. So after some kind of really difficult, uh, painful ending, ten of swords, ruin, right? You felt like this person betrayed you. You felt like you both have just been through a lot. You can't pick yourselves up. Just when you think that, there is opportunity coming in and someone is willing to put in the work here. 
So I really like it. It's not going to be easy because the strength in the verse is really highlighting the need to really work hard at something. Um, it's not going to happen overnight. Two pentacles in verse, someone is willing to make a sacrifice, let something go, right? There's been a lot of juggling, a lot of back and forth. Someone is like, finally, like, you know what? I'm ready to let this go. Drop this. I don't have time for this. I want to focus on perhaps you. And there's a repair. There's a recovery energy with the ten of swords in verse, overcoming a really difficult, painful ending where you both felt like there's no hope. There is there is hope, right? Because with the Ten of Swords in verse is picking up the pieces. Um, so I like it and willing to put in the work. So it really comes down to like what you're willing to do. But I definitely get a sense of a lot of recovery, a lot of rebuilding coming in, okay? And it really comes down to this person feeling really bad, sorrow, remorseful for something that they've done. Scorpio, that is what I'm singing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. And I'll check you guys out soon. And um, have a great week ahead. Bye.